gentlemen, Cone Dodger here, and welcome back to the Cone Landers Dirt Rally League. This week, as you can see, we are once again in Germany, and we are in the 1970s series, which means I'll be using one of my absolute favorite vehicles, the Escort. Looking forward to it. Germany is usually a good time. Let's make a few minor adjustments to the suspension here, and I think we'll be ready to go. Uh, one interesting thing is I've noticed on occasion when I load into the league here, this setup is completely different than the like setup that I would have in an offline race. So if you guys are doing the Colanders League, if you're doing leagues in general, make sure you check your setup before you start going. Uh, this time it was fine, but the last time I had to reset it to default and everything was just really out of whack. And if I had tried to run, I would have been really, really bad. So just keep keep an eye on that. Alrighty, here we go. Headlights are blazing. Germany's a pretty good place for darkness, though. And actually, if you can keep the headlights on the car, it's not very bad at all. So let's see what we can do Five, here. Four, three, I do really two, enjoy this car. It's naturally four, aspirated. Go. Pretty high strung. Right Makes six, most of its power above about into seven. Into right two, down. See how much I enjoy it, as <laughs> I nearly lose it there. Uh, but it's, yeah, it's a pretty predictable car. really enjoy it in a Silver Corsa. One of my favorite of the uh, retro night cars we've done. And honestly, it's not too different here. It's a very natural car to flick around. Like It seems like it uh, can power slide pretty well without using handbrake, which is important. The suspension's just very predictable. It's loose. It's not a modern rally car, no, but it's the right kind of old school suspension. It's got enough tire to match its power. Versus some of like the Group B cars seem like they have way more power than tire. See, some cars are really struggle with those hairpins. Not this guy. This one's this one's one of my favorites. Said that last week about the uh, kit car, though, and we all know how that went. You know, in reality, as bad as it looked like we did in the uh, at the time in that event. Oh, that was close to those zones. <laughs> we actually ended up finishing fairly decent in Finland there. Not as bad as it looked at the time. Turn right one, don't cut. Right. Getting a feel for it now. 60. The gear spacing is a little right awkward. Alright, this is not a car to be left. super brave in here. Right. Doesn't have that much tire under it. Predictable oversteer. That's that's what I like in a car. It's not too bad off throttle either. Some of the cars, when you get off throttle and oversteer, they just loop around. So it must have a good weight balance. It's funny how I like all of these kind of attributes in a car. In the car I choose to uh, race with in real life has, has basically none of those attributes. The uh, the S chassis is actually pretty poorly balanced. It can be a little bit of a a hair trigger car. Really predictable sideways. Why it's such a drift car, but overall it transitions from understeer to oversteer pretty dramatically. Oh, finished already, huh? Short stage. All right. That's a good way to start, though. Happy with that. Wow, 1.3 seconds off the lead. I wonder if Maestro hasn't gone yet. Ah, okay, that, that explains that. Maestro has not gone yet, and only, only eight people have. Uh, it is pretty early in the week. However, Steve McQueen's already gone, and Steve's usually really quick. Stately, look at you go! Fastest time so far in stage number one. Faster than Moose, who won last week. Nice job. All right, now I think we do the same stage in reverse. Should be pretty good. We had a good time on the way up. Let's see how it goes. Four, three, two, one, go. 
helicopters in a more predictable, less spooky position. So that's a plus. Oh, this is not the same stage at all. This is the one with the chicane. I'm not ready for this. That was okay. A little bit of dirt on the exit. You know, heaven forbid we get dirt and dirt rally. <laughs> Who would do such a thing? I don't remember if I said this in an episode or if I was just talking on Conlander's. No! That's a big mistake. That's many seconds lost. All for a very stupid point. I was just going to make a joke that uh, there is no dirt stage in Dirt Rally. There's sand, there's gravel, but there's no real, like, wooded dirt, just, you know, soil kind of stage. Grease, I guess, is the closest, but yeah, that's really sand. What I would consider to be dirt. Might be splitting hairs on that, though. A little bit reserved there. Perhaps this is the same stage and I just don't recognize it. It's very possible. Yeah, it is, because this is the brave turn. Learn your stages, Cone. We're going to spin again. Oh, man. What happened? We did so fantastic on the first stage. Lost my touch. At least we have an absolutely, like, pinned it against a stone. That's, that's good, but now that I've said that, you know we will. This doesn't feel as stable all of a sudden. Perhaps just letting it wash a little too wide. Right, now we get into the tighter forest section here, and we'll be doing it downhill. So momentum will be pushing us. That was pretty good. Pleased with that. This looks a lot more downhill than it looks uphill, doesn't it? Like, I don't notice it being that steep on the way up. There we go. Now I'm starting to get my feel back. I don't know where it had gone. Please stop. <laughs> That's the problem. I keep getting the rear tires on the dirt. That's what's spinning me around. I'll try to pay more attention to that. Ooh, that's a big hit. Okay. Well, at least we're to the finish. We, like I said, we didn't have any absolutely terrible moments, but definitely not as good of a stage. 350. 26 back. Wow, that's way worse than I expected, too. Yikes. I uh, hope we can overcome that. Now, that was hoping to have a really good result this week. Hopefully uh, some others struggled at this stage. You never know. You never know. Uh, fourth place. Wow, Moosh really took off on this one. Jeez. Uh, Stapley dropped way back, so he had some issues here. Eh, we'll see. Maybe we can overcome this. Alright, now for the long stage. I think we'll go the forward way again and then continue on through the whole stage. So we'll be doing that chicane again. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Five, Gotta four, clean it up a little here. Three. I mean, this Level first half is the stage that we did so well on, right so let's hope we can continue four, that. Right two, down. Try to take it a little easier. I think maybe I was Jump just pushing a bit too hard. That's Level one thing on a 
very frequently fall into is getting too confident in the car. I just got a third gear there when I was supposed to go to fifth. Pretty sure that would blow up the engine. Right six half long. Two fifty. Eight. Caution braking bumps. Acute braking bumps. Into hairpin right. Come on, this does not seem as uphill as it does downhill. Right five half long. Don't cut. Must be a perspective thing. Into left four long. Did you know it's identical? <laughs> I know it's identical. Okay, well, not quite as good as the first time through there, but not terrible. You thought I was going to hit that guardrail, didn't you? So did I. Don't worry. Alright, yep. Just got to get... Tune back into that little little slide it does mid-turn. It's a very useful slide if you use it correctly. Whoa, Nelly. Oh, thick push. I, I thought it was going to be real slick there and use the, uh, the dip on the inside of the turn to really flick it around, but uh, it decided understeer was more the flavor of the month. I'm not brave. I'm a wimp. Oh, I was still too brave. Are you guys, like, not replacing the rear tires on this thing? <laughs> it definitely uh, feels looser now than it did the first time through. Probably a bravery thing. Oh, one thing that is different this week is I put a new potentiometer in my gas pedal, so I now have full range gas pedal again. It's also very likely that the last two weeks I wasn't getting 100% throttle, as I was not in a Soto Corsa. That, you can actually tell because, you know, it's got like a throttle input uh, display. No such thing here, so I would have no idea. So as much as I'm spinning out, maybe I didn't need that power. <laughs> maybe I didn't need 100% throttle. Somebody put a piece of wood under the pedal, please. Oh no, I don't wanna. I don't wanna. I hate this chicane. I hate it so much. I always feel like I'm either super slow through there, or or I crash. Right, memory serves me right. The second half of this stage really opens up. Which I think is where I was making more mistakes than in the slow sections. So far it's not. I never trust my memory. Oh, easy. Maybe I should have thrown a little bit more rear camber in this thing. Put a bit more front in. I think I should have probably tried to match it. High speed, high speed turns, it's a little wild. I like it in these 90s, that's about perfect. Double caution. I need to triple caution, apparently. Double caution was not enough. Alright, here we go, that's the fast areas I was thinking of. So far, we still have headlights though, so that's nice. I figured we would have lost them by now. As much as I smash into rocks here. Here we go, yeah, 
had to stretch out a little bit there. That was a bit much. Where's it at? There it is. Good brakes on this car, too. Not that they're, like, amazing at stopping the car. It's just very predictable. Oh, is this the big jump? I think it is. Yeah, it is. Pretty good air there. I think we were about to the last of the uh, markers. How many times have we done that? How many times? Shut up. There goes the headlights. Good thing the last stage is in the daytime. Would have been a perfect stage. Well, not perfect. Would have been basically mistake free if not for that. I can't see. Luckily, it's not super dark. It's actually a little bit dusky now. Alright. Not terrible. I'll take it. Wish we hadn't ended up in the trees there. But, uh, you know, it happens. Don't think it's gonna be a top time. 35 back. Well, that's about what I was back on, what, the, uh, the uh, second stage there, which was super short. Alright, how are we looking here? Let's see. Fourth place. Still ahead of Stapley. About uh, 15 behind Slim. That's probably not going to happen. You could say the chances are slim. But I think that's pretty good. Right in the middle of the people who have gone so far. Moose really, really stretching it out now. I guess he only struggled at the first stage. All right. Well, now we say to hell with the headlights. We don't need them. It's daytime. One last little stage to go. Five, four, Let's see what three, we can do. Two, one, go. I think this last stage is probably... Mostly an exercise in damage control. We're not going to, uh... Not really going to set the world on fire, I don't think. And entry, I was aiming the wrong way. Come on, Cone. How many times have you done these? You know that. I must have known that I've been going to be autocrossing this weekend, so I picked... Picked the stages with that chicane in there as many times as possible. Try and get uh, get my bail dodging skills up. Man, that would be that'd be a hell of an autocross. Nothing but hay bales instead of cones. Hopefully they're not solid concrete like the uh, the hay bales in the game. That would be unfortunate. My name may be Conodger, but I've been known to kill a cone or two in my day. I might not kill a hay bale. Is this the end of the last stage? I don't know. I'm doing terrible at the, like, location awareness today. Not that that's super important. Oh, that was a double caution one. Yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't need no stinking double caution this time. I've learned. Oh, we get to screw up the jump again. Oh, nice. Okay. Good job at picking stages, me. Let's see, we made it to the last line last time. Let's see if we can do even better. There's plenty of time to slow down after the jump. I just have to remember to slow down after the jump. Oh, I did much better through here. That was quick. Good exit out of here. Nice. This is all about getting air. We're about to limit her. Nice, I think that was even better. He says deceptive, doesn't he? 
If I had done this stage first, <laughs> then maybe I would have been able to do the long stage really well. Well, maybe not. Let her bog down right there. I was too excited about that good jump we just did. Oh, that was pushing my luck. Not a bad stage, though. So we bracketed this event. We had a good first stage and a good last stage. The middle two, we'll just forget about those. Those aren't important. 12 seconds back. Not as good as the first one, but still much better than the middle two. Let's grab the replay real quick. All right, here we go. Here we go. It was pretty good. It was actually at a camera shot. Let's see if we can get the, uh, like a chase camera or something. All right, let's see here. Yeah, that was just at the last one. All right, so what do you do? You pause or something? So you pause, which is 18. And then you can turn the wheel. Yeah, there we go. Oh, the music slows down too. I forgot about that. Oh, now it sounds like a inappropriate film song. We'll say... We'll say that's about 55. 55. I challenge any of the cone landers to beat that. We're just beyond the, the spot where all the marks are in the track. Not too shabby. Okay, very good. We end up in fourth position of the eight that have gone so far. Many, many, many to go just yet, so we'll see where we end up. I'm kind of doubting top 10 this week, unfortunately. I was hoping for a little bit better, but we... We had that really bad uh, second stage there that's that's hurt our time significantly, but it was still fun. I really love the 70s cars, and I really love Germany, so at least we had fun. Isn't that what's really important? All right, well, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next week here in the Colonel Dirt Rally League. Thanks for watching.